thought of losing him. I can't let that happen. start. No wonder. What's that? Ah, shit! <laughs> Why the fuck you do that? It was an accident. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think you broke my fucking arm. I go to the hospital. Take me to the fucking hospital. Oh, shit. You're gonna have to wear this for six weeks, unfortunately. All right? You go follow up with a specialist, try to take it easy, and uh, if you need a uh, prescription for some pain medication or something, just let me know. I'll write you one up. Hey, Doc. Think I can ask you a question? Sure. It ain't really about my arm, though. Okay. Well, then what's it about? My stomach's been hurting, and I've been vomiting a whole lot. The, uh, throwing up part is probably just a little stomach buggy going on. Give me a couple hours. We'll do some tests. You know what? I'm gonna pass, man. I'm running late. I gotta get to work. All right, Mr. Tillman, your choice. You have a good one, Doc. What'd they say? They said it's broken. What the fuck do it look like? Well, if there's anything I can do... The only thing I need right now is to get to my goddamn job. No fuck. Come on, man, I can still work. Nah. Man, I still got one good arm. A fucking one arm mechanic. Now, what you think this is, a fucking circus? No, nah, man, this, this, uh, this just ain't gonna work out. Man, I don't think you understand, homeboy. I can't lose this motherfucking job. And I can't lose this motherfucking business. And about that shit yesterday. Now, I ain't no flavor fucking flame, but I do know what time it is. What the fuck you mean you know what time it is? I'll show you what time it is. Nigga, please, you swing on me? I have you violated so fast, your black ass will be up inside that prison and you'll be eating green bologna sandwiches for lunch. It's like that, old boy. Check this out. I feel you. You can get touched. Yeah. It's my motherfucking hood. You can get touched, homeboy. You got to leave this motherfucker every motherfucking night. And I know where you dry. Think about that shit, homeboy. It's my hood. You can get touched. Fuck you in this punk ass job. Got me fucked up. What's up with that? I figured you was gonna come check on that. 
So what I put to do? Choke that to the game? Man, I just did that fire, my nigga. That was your thing, my nigga. I ain't telling nobody, man. You know they gotta count for something, big A. Eh? So what, you about to come back to work, grind it out, or what? What you saying? I ain't really in no hurry to jump back out in the streets, my nigga. My P.O. got me on that high-risk shit, man. They on me pretty tough, man. And I really been thinking about trying to get my daughter and my baby mama together, man. So I had got me a little job until I broke my arm. The fuck you mean a job? I had a job, my nigga. I broke my arm. They fired me. Fuck, well, nigga, that's why I, I got that work out here. Like I said, they got me on that high-risk parole shit. Look like parole turned out to be a fucking death sentence, huh? Give me a light, my nigga. Nigga, what you so nervous about? You got something on your mind? Man, it's a lot of shit on my mind, man. It's been going on, man. And think over some shit, man. I might have to come holler at you, man. Nigga, I'm here. You know what I mean? I got this, man. You need some work? You trying to get on your feet? Come on, nigga. Let's do what we do. I got you, big Al. Get yourself together, nigga. Right on. For real, holla, I'll, I'll be there, nigga. I'm coming through. Brought you some food. I'm not hungry. I just want to be left alone. Oh, by the way, your parole officer called. He wanted to know how everything was going. And what did you tell him? I told him everything was fine. He said he'd stop by Monday morning. You enjoyed your dinner? I fell asleep. I didn't even eat that shit. But the bowl is empty. <sighs> that little dog was in here. He must have ate that shit.
the fuck is going on? He died. I buried him in the backyard. Who, Royce? Sasha. The dog? The dog died? He was fine just a little while ago. It was his time. Everybody has a time. didn't see you at church this morning, so I wanted to make sure that everything was okay. Why wouldn't it be? Well, I heard about CJ's arm and him losing his job, and I just kind of wanted to see how he was holding up. Rev, I think Miss Henderson is trying to kill me. Because the dog died? It's not just the dog. Every day since I've been here, my stomach been killing me. I've been vomiting. I thought at first it was some type of just flu or stomach bug. You know, I wasn't sure. But then last night, the dog ate my food and then he died. That was an old dog he did it. And besides, I've known Miss Henderson for a few years. Now she may be out there a little bit, but uh, trying to kill you? Maybe because I won't fuck her. I don't know. I might be losing my mind, man. But whatever it is, I got to get up out of here. I can't come stay with you until I find my place? No, 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 no. There's no room in the inn. I got a wife, I got four kids, and a mother-in-law in a three-bedroom. How about a friend? All oh, my homeboys still banging and running the streets, man. My P.O. ain't never finna go for that. And tomorrow, he finna come through here for a visit. All right. Don't go doing anything to get yourself in any trouble. Give me, give me a couple of days, and I'll try to find you a place to stay. The fuck you mean a couple of days? Man, I'll be dead to the motherfucker in a couple of days, punk. Get the fuck up out of my room before I take flight on your bitch ass. God bless you. You fake wannabe ass, punk ass, wannabe ass, cheap suit wearing ass, preaching ass motherfucker. Couple days. All right, real. I appreciate it. I appreciate everything, man. Okay. God bless you. I'll just come on out and ask you then. Are you trying to have relations with CJ? <laughs> just because you're not fucking me anymore? Mabel, sweet Jesus, please. Ross is right here. Don't worry about Royce. He knows about everything. How much? How much do you want? Oh, I don't pimp God like you do. Bitch, you are crazy. You crazy. Yeah? Well, you need to be careful who you fuck and who you fuck with. I am truly worried about your salvation, masquerading as a servant of God and carrying on like you do. Sweet Jesus, what's wrong with you? If your flock only knew how that shepherd was carrying on.
be Tina. Yeah, here I'm here to see CJ. And you must be Camille. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Miss Mabel. Camille! Daddy! So big. How you been? Good. broke my arm. Oh, God, how? It's a long story. Would you like to come in and help me with dinner? We're not hungry. Speak for yourself. I'm starving. I'd be glad to help you. Come this way. <laughs> sure. Hey, watch that food. OK. Watch her and that food. <laughs> OK, I will. Yeah. Bye. You hungry? Mm -hmm. How you been? You been doing all right in school? This one. I miss you this much. Come here. Uh. He looks like he is really enjoying himself. Yeah. A picture perfect family. Well, I don't know about that. Because I'm not one of these lovesick females that'll just go for anything. I'm definitely not going to waste my life on somebody that's going to be in and out of jail. Mm. A wasted life. I know something about that. We'll keep him on the right path together. Let's exchange numbers. Yeah, sure. Okay, I will. Thanks so much for dinner. She seems so nice. I'm gonna see you soon, okay? Your mama had a number. Call me every day. It's part of your homework. Look, I want you to stay away from that bitch. I'm gonna be out of here in a couple of days, you hear me? Trevor, you know what? You were acting like this the last time you got out of jail, paranoid and shit. Like the other day, you was talking to me on the phone. What's up? This is different. Look, I don't want to argue with you. Just leave her alone. All right, all right, all right. All right? All right. It'll be good. Okay. Me out, man, I've been gone for four years. I think you want it just as bad as me unless you've been doing something. <laughs> you know what? I'm not even gonna go there with you. I told you this was gonna be like starting over, you know? I'm not the same person I was four years ago. And if you wanna get back with me, you gotta earn my trust, period. Trust? Fuck some trust. A nigga need some pussy. Some pussy, huh? You're the same old CJ. Figures. Never change. I'll hit you back. Damn, four years without pussy. It's not like it's gonna be another four years where your girl's tripping. My girl ain't none of your goddamn business. Mm, all right, then. Since a nigga ain't trying to holler. Hey, 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 hold up, hold up. Again, and I'm not going to give him that satisfaction. Let's go to bed.
I know you want me to do it. But what would happen to you if I wasn't here? There's got to be another way. Explain. Go ahead and explain then. Yeah, that's what I thought. What's your shit? I can explain. Well, go ahead and explain then. You know what? Everybody was right about your ass, but I didn't listen. No, I actually thought you could change. But you know what? You can't change who the fuck you are, can you? You sorry ass. Sorry, motherfucker. What do you want from me, huh? Huh? Is this what you want? Is this what you want from me, huh? Yeah, that's what you want. Is this what you want from me? Stop fucking with me. CJ, your parole officer's here. Can I get you something cold to drink? No, I'm fine, thank you. Well, here's CJ now. Mr. Tillman, I'm Officer Walker, I'm your PO. Have a seat, please. What happened? I had an accident. Mm -hmm. How's that going to affect your employment? I lost my job, man. Oh, not to worry. We can pay him to do odd jobs around here. Pull weeds, whatever he can do with one hand. How's everything working out around here? Everything's cool. Yes, it's fine. I actually enjoy the company. 
Okay. Well, I got something for you. I'll follow you down the hallway. You know what to do with that. Let me tell you something, son. I'm not one of those sympathetic people to care something about your story. If I hear any shit about you, it's over with. You understand me? I hear you, man. Have a nice day. I didn't want to say anything in front of CJ, but uh, he has been acting a little strangely lately. How so? Just little things. Maybe nothing. Let me give you my card. It has my cell number on it. You call me if you have any problems out of him at all. I'm sure I won't need it, but just in case. What the fuck do you want? What are you doing? You can't leave. Watch me. I have nowhere to go. I have the number. And I will make the call. I could start with you violating me in the hallway last night. I'm sure I could think of a few other things to fuel the fire. You know what? You are fucking crazy. Crazy? <laughs> crazy is just another stop along the highway. And I didn't drive myself there. Believe me, I was driven. Sometimes I think I'm stuck there. No way out. No way out of the loneliness, the diapers, no hope. That's what I miss the most, hope. I thought through you, I might have hope again. As soon as I find me a place, I'm out of here. And until then, stay the fuck away from me. Fine. I won't try to stop you. Could you do me one last favor? Royce isn't feeling very well. Could you run a couple of errands for me? Yes, I'd like to report a stolen car. Young, what the fuck I done did, man? You know what the fuck you did? 
Fuck you! You should have thought about that when you stole his fucking car. Now get up! Hello? Yes, I'll accept. Hey, look, check this out. I don't know if this is some type of weird-ass game to you or something, but they really talking about sending me back to the motherfucking pen. I assure you, this is no game. The officer is here right now, finishing the report. And all I have to do is sign it. Hey, look. Please, you cannot sign the papers. Well, you know what I want. Yeah, nigga know what you want. I'll see you this evening. Oh, and don't forget to bring flowers. Royce always used to bring me flowers. Okay, ma'am, I'm finished with the report. I just need you to look it over and then sign it. Ma'am? Did a lot of reading when I was locked down. Don't remember much of it, but I keep thinking about this one proverb. It's like it was written for me. The three things that always come out are the moon, the sun, and the truth. <laughs> the truth. Let's go.